extra loud for our future baby daddies, Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. They say every relationship brings out a different side of you. Well, that certainly sticks in Kourtney Kardashian's case. New man, new wardrobe. You want to know what else is new? Then continue watching. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Welcome to a new episode of Before and After. Today, we're going to take a look at Kourtney Kardashian's major style transition and new look since she began dating Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker. If you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now, let's get into this video. Kourtney Kardashian hardly needs an introduction. Born in Los Angeles, California on April 18, 1979, she's the eldest of four children born to Chris and Robert Kardashian. Court, along with her siblings, gained fame through the reality series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, as well as its spin offs, including Kourtney and Kim Take New York and Kourtney and Chloe Take Miami. Despite having more popular celebrity sisters, or at least some would say that, Court has managed to earn name and fame on her own. And she's not all beauty, she's brains too. Expanding her career beyond reality TV, Courtney also runs several businesses, one of them being the lifestyle website Poosh, which offers articles on health, beauty, fitness, and more. But enough about that, let's jump into her current relationship. Courtney's relationship with rock star Travis Barker has been the talk of the town, and it seems to be the beginning of a whole new Courtney style era. Sometimes the best romances start as friendship. Courtney and Travis's new relationship may come as a surprise, but the pair have known each other for years. Apparently, they have been acquainted for a better part of a decade, not to mention they both live in the same gated community in Calabasas, California. In February 2019, the duo sparked dating rumors when they were snapped grabbing dinner in Malibu. The rumor mill spun and finally Court confirmed the news by posting a photo of their entwined hands, which Travis went on to repost on his Instagram story. While Courtney has always been one of the most fashionable A-listers in Tinseltown, there's no disputing that her look has gotten a lot edgier after Kravis was a thing. And this before and after, I'm gonna walk you through her recent style changes. Let's start with her wardrobe. If you've been a fan of Court since day one, you must have noticed a significant change from what she used to wear during her relationship with Scott Disick from 2006 to 2015. The former flames were known to coordinate preppy pastel colored outfits, and Courtney's glam consisted of updos and red lipsticks versus her long waves and more natural makeup. But things have changed and probably for the better, wouldn't you say? Court's wardrobe seems to have taken a slightly darker and grittier turn with shades of rock and roll. Leather jackets, dark lipsticks, ripped jeans, mini skirts, and rock band tees. Looks like Court has transformed into a full-blown rocker chick these days. On a UFC match date night in March, the lovebirds were spotted wearing matching leather outfits while showing some major PEA. In another UFC event in July, the Poosh.com founder donned a black one-sleeve top that she paired with leather pants and accessorized with a set of earrings that read, hate you. Court also posted a picture of her wearing a t-shirt repping the English rock band The Cure. We've even seen her rocking shiny grills on her teeth, something I never thought that I'd see on her, that's for sure. At the recent MTV Music Awards, the couple showed up in matching golf outfits covered in leather and spikes. However, the off-the-shoulder piece boldest features were lace-up ties that ran from its neckline to the navel, making Kardashian sleek and sexy. We all know who's to blame for Court's drastic style transformation, but hey, there's nothing wrong with a little rock and roll, right? Next, how about Courtney's new hair? Let's chop them off. Court did just that recently and unveiled her new look on Saturday, August 14th. She showed off her new haircut in a series of photos via Instagram with a caption of a simple scissors emoji. The pictures revealed that Kardashian chopped her waist length lob to right above her shoulders. The lob, aka long bob, is a massive change for the reality TV personality who consists consistently had long hair throughout most of her time in the spotlight. Care to know what led to this? Kardashian took to Instagram stories on Friday, July 30th to show a decent amount of her hair lying on the floor. Haircuts by Travis Barker, she captioned the Instagram stories. Later on August 5th, Court posted yet another pic of her unveiling the new hairdo. While Court snapped her mirror selfie, Barker looked on in the background, capturing the moment with his phone. The caption read, 10 days of quarantine, which also featured the chunk of her long, dark, 
brown hair on the floor. When in love, right folks? Now this next aspect has nothing to do with Court's current romance, but since I'm sure you're all wondering how the mom of three looks so good, I'm gonna briefly address the question. Has Courtney had plastic surgery like the rest of her sisters? The eldest Kardashian is one of the famous family who doesn't seem to change her appearance as much. She's always been known for her fresh face look and fit physique, but is it just good genes or does she have some secrets? First of all, you may be surprised to hear that Court did get breast implants way back when she was in college. However, it's not something she's proud of and Courtney expressed regret about the procedure in a 2011 interview. She said, I had my boobs done, but if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. I was so cute before, I've realized that I was made to look a certain way and I'm considering removing them. And many media outlets claim Court has gotten way more done than a boob job back in the day. It's reported that the reality star likely has had a nose job, eyebrow lift, cheek lift, lip fillers, Botox and more, but that we'll probably never be entirely sure of. What do you guys think? I mean, she doesn't look like she's aging normally, that's for sure. But it could always have to do with Courtney's healthy lifestyle. She's dedicated to clean eating and her exercise schedule, so that could have a lot to do with why she looks so great. So what about ink? Court has never jumped on the tattoo train and perhaps she never will, or will she? The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star recently inked Travis has seen in her Instagram post. This post saw Kardashian holding onto her boyfriend's arm and the ink read a sweet little I love you. I tattoo, she captioned the slideshow while Barker commented, a woman of many talents. Barker also posted a photo of the finished ink on his Instagram story calling Kardashian the best tattoo artist. The musician's new ink comes after he also had Courtney's name inked on his chest. Now that's love, isn't it? From the onset of their romance, Court is anything but shy when it comes to PDA. That's quite unlike her as she's known to be pretty reserved when it comes to her personal life. But things have taken a complete U-turn with her man of the hour. From the recording studio to UFC events or top of a boat or the middle of a desert, the couple literally has displayed some intense PDA over the last couple of months, public and all over social media. Before we wrap up Court's transformation, one thing that has stayed the same with seems is her time spent with the kids. They may have even been the ones to bring the couple together in the first place. Court shares three children with her ex Scott Disick, while Travis co-parents two kids with his ex-wife Shanna Mokler, and if sources are to be believed, it's their children's friendships that got the couple together. A source said, they became friends living in the same neighborhood and hang out a lot. Their kids' friendship had Courtney and Travis spending a lot of time together. Despite the couple's shocking PDA and her new edgy look, from celebrating Halloween, taking a trip to Disneyland, or being beach bum, seems like Court is still prioritizing family above everything. All right, so now that we've covered Kourtney Kardashian's before and after, what are your thoughts on her recent transformation? I don't think I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon of people obsessing over Kravis, cause I think it's a little much, but props to her for trying something new and an edgy look. I mean, I always love a rocker aesthetic. Anyways, that wraps it up for this episode of Before and After. Be sure to drop me a comment down below about Kourt's rock star makeover so we can discuss and tell me who else we should do a before and after video on. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!